definitely do it. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've had. You know when you wake up every day and everything's new and you've got you just got too many options almost of what you can do, so. My own self-confidence has improved massively. It's the best experience ever. So I studied in International House Barcelona and I studied um, teaching English as a foreign language course. It was quite intense because it was a sort of 9 to 5, Monday to Friday course, but I really enjoyed it. I got to teach um, all different kinds of people from all over the world um, every morning and just the people that I met and um, just the culture there in Barcelona was so vibrant and amazing. I studied uh, history at the University of Malta for five months. It's just a very relaxed Britain that's a bit hotter. That's it really. I do even struggle making friends because sometimes you, you, you know, it takes a, couple, a while to get used to some people. But there it was instant. Like at day one we formed a group and there was, we had people from all over the world in our accommodation. Uh, there was Americans, Canadians and then there was, you know, people from Europe, Germans, Norwegians, everywhere. Um, and I don't know, because everyone was on Erasmus, there was that kind of shared interest. So I was really worried that making friends would be the hardest thing. It wasn't, it was actually the easiest. Yeah, travelling on my own, that was the most nerve-wracking, actually getting on the plane, flying across on my own, not knowing where I'm going. Um, but once I got there, it was like, I'm invincible, I've done this on my own, I've conquered it, nothing can stop me now. I didn't expect much of a culture shock um, because I did originally want to go to a country which spoke another language so I could learn more but there was things that I didn't expect like there were some words that I would say that they actually wouldn't understand. They found the fact that I said like mate sometimes really entertaining and they'd always try and cover me. I'm vegetarian so I was sort of thinking oh maybe that's going to be quite hard there, I wasn't too sure. Um, but when I arrived I realised actually most people are actually vegan so it was amazing. Definitely do as much travel as you can like whilst you're there because um, it's quite cheap once you're within America, like just go and do things. Even if you've got a lot of homeworks, like sort it out for another time, just go and travel whilst you're there to enjoy it. I did do a lot of exploring outside of sort of classes, which was really, I would definitely recommend people to really try and do that. I know it's like you can get sort of um, really involved in the course and the school and everyone you meet in there, but I think it's really important to go um, and travel outside of that and meet people that maybe don't go to your uni, but are living in the community there. The social side of things isn't just in uni, like I ended up moving in with some other students after I left my homestay and I met a lot of people through my pole dancing and a couple of the societies I was part of, I went climbing with people, I went hiking with people um, and I actually, like I had time to do those things without feeling guilty about taking time away from study. I got the International Travel Award from Bass Bar and they gave me a thousand pounds towards travelling and I wasn't expected to pay that back so that really helped me. Yeah, so I received um, the bursary from the Global Citizenship Programme which was really helpful and covered um, my flight and some of my accommodation. I got the Global Citizenship Grant, the EU grant and money I saved and the student findings. I had a lot of money. I got, I got quite a lot. It's nice. <laughs> Free stuff. I would tell someone to actually not take stuff because that was my problem is that I am um, I took quite a lot of stuff because I was like, I'm going quite far, I can't really nip home, so I'll take all my things with me. And then on the way back, um, yeah, I just had to like donate all my things to all my flatmates because I just had too many things. I'm going to say suntan lotion because, yeah, the suntan lotion was really expensive out there and if you can bring some with you, I'd definitely recommend to. You kind of learn more about yourself and, in, and you kind of define yourself with, without other, other people, if you know what I mean, as in, you kind of learn who you are when you are alone and you learn to be okay with that and you don't always need to be surrounded by people and I think it's hard and you probably feel homesick and I wish I had all these people around me but then you kind of realise you don't need those comforts and you're actually okay and it's fine. For any student thinking about doing Erasmus, I'd say do it, definitely do it, it's brilliant. 100% do it because you come back a completely different person. I feel reborn, that's the best way to describe it because the problems I had before I left have now gone away. My anxiety is under control and I feel more confident and more able to have a conversation with someone despite language barriers, despite cultural differences. I feel more globalised as a person, so do it. <laughs>